Greetings everyone and welcome to the second installment of this series on bootstrapping. As example in the previous video, bootstrapping is a resampling technique for performing robust analyses. To understand bootstrapping better, we will take the help of this data set which we have seen a number of times where data regarding a band's album sales in millions and adverts in millions are given. Here we want to predict whether advertisements really do help in increasing album sales. To do this, we will use simple linear regression. To know more about regression analyses, check out my playlists on linear and logistic regression. First, we will obtain a correlation. To do that in JASP, you can select the regression drop down menu, go to correlation and select both these variables and put them into the variables box. Here we can obtain 95% confidence intervals also and notice that here is an option to perform bootstraps. So if we select this checkbox of a thousand bootstraps, this means that our data is resampled thousand times and to create thousand data, uh, thousand bootstrap data samples and 95% confidence intervals are calculated from them. Now here we can see that the, when we perform bootstrapping again and again, the 95% confidence intervals are different from last time. As we can see here. Right. So as explained in the previous video, this is nothing to worry about since the bootstrap data samples, which uh, we take each time may not be the same as last time. Next, we will run a linear regression analysis with our dependent variable, which is sales and our predictor variable adverts into the covariates box. Now we would like to do bootstrapping to obtain beta coefficients and 95% confidence intervals. To do that, we will go to the statistics option and we will select the 95% confidence intervals box and the bootstraps box. And here we can see that uh, this is using 5,000 bootstraps while this was using only a thousand bootstraps right here. So thing to note while running the analysis, the, uh, when you increase the number of bootstraps, the software will, uh, take a little more time to run the analysis because it needs to sample more bootstrap data sets than, um, when it has lesser number of bootstrap samples. So here we can see that we get a uh, separate, uh, bootstrap coefficients table. And when the software finishes running the analysis, we should have our bootstrapped beta coefficient and our bootstrapped 95% confidence interval for the coefficient, right? As we can see here. Here we also get a p-value for our coefficients, which is the bootstrap uh, p-value. And uh, we can hence deduce that for every unit increase in adverts, sales go up by approximately 0.1 uh, units uh, from the beta coefficients. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.